Hi, my name is Meander and this is one of my floral ear wraps. For those who've never worn an ear wrap before, they may look a bit of a mystery, but they're pretty straightforward. I'll show you how to wear it, fit it, and its durability. To make it easier to see, I have this blank frame here to demonstrate on. I design all of my wraps with a C shape. It's this behind your ear. It comes around to a little loop that hugs the front of your earlobe, and there's a decorative portion here at the top that helps provide support, as well as one at the bottom, which may be against your cheek or your jaw, depending on the design. To wear, place it on your ear here, like you might some sunglasses, and then spin it around behind your ear. If you need to, you can lift your lobe over the loop. At this point, it should be light and you shouldn't feel a thing. If you feel any pressure here or here, you may need a little adjusting. Because every ear is different, you may need to make some small adjustments. If the piece is too large, a simple squeeze here can close the C-shape and make it fit better. Likewise, you can also open it by widening the C. Small adjustments are all you need, and once it's fit to you, you won't need to adjust it again. If you need more space for the upper part of your ear, take the top of your wrap and gently pull it away from the frame until it's as wide as you need. Try it on again for fit. When you're finished, bend the end back just a little to make sure it doesn't stick out too far. Then you'll have a slight curve like this. The bottom of the wrap here should go around your earlobe, but it shouldn't push it out of the way or make it uncomfortable. If you need more room, you pull it down like this. If you want a little more support, you do the opposite. Try it on to make sure it's feeling comfortable to you. When you're all done with the adjusting, you can move this area up or down to get it back into a position you like. The lower part of the wrap is meant to lay flat against your cheek or jaw. If you need to, you can straighten it or move it away, or bend it inward and it will lay more closely to your cheek. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Although they may look delicate, all of my ear wraps and wire pieces are very sturdy and springy. If you've been wondering about the strength of paper flowers, let me just demonstrate the strength of this. You can hit it, drop it, knock it on things, and it will still look just the same. This paper is actually so durable that it gives me a lot of trouble trying to destroy it on purpose. They have an almost cloth-like texture. Completely crushing a flower takes a lot of effort, like you can see here, and it's really something that's unlikely to happen with normal wear. But if something does happen, it doesn't mean it's broken. Just take a damp paintbrush and sweep it over the petals. Don't completely saturate it, but a little bit of water will expand the plant fibers and the petals will push back into their original position. Then you just leave it to dry, and when it's completely dry, it will be just like it was before the accident. With proper care, your piece should last you for years and years. To help that, you just want to avoid things such as long-term direct exposure to sunlight, which might start to wash out your colors over the course of time. Also, things like dust may occur if you don't store them in a jewelry box or a bag of some sort, but if it does happen, you can just use a dry paintbrush or even a couple squirts from some canned air, and it will clean right up. Now you can wear your pieces out in rain, even heavy rain, and they'll be fine as long as you put them somewhere to dry out, laying flat, where they can't be crushed until they're completely dry, and then they'll become just as stiff and tough as they were before. Something you do want to avoid is full saturation, such as a fall into a pond or a pool. If that happens, I may need to replace some flowers for you, but I'm more than willing to because I want everybody to enjoy their piece for a lifetime.